Okay, here we are on our uh, anniversary vacation way up in northern Maine. We're off the St. Francis Road, not very far from the town itself. Having just spent a couple of wonderful days in the Bully Public Lands Unit. And of course, we're also interested in forestry of all kinds, including production forestry, which we're looking at here. I'm, this has got to be J.D. Irving lands. Um, we're sort of drawn to this uh, very, very fresh clear cut here. It looks to be maybe, what, 25 acres? I don't know, 30 acres? It's hard to estimate these things. Um, the stand, uh, what I was intrigued by was the stand itself um, was... We, I noticed that the stumps were pretty small here, so why are they clear-cutting this in the first place? So we get out and look. The the trees, here's a here's a butt uh, cut from the, one of the trees that were cut, what, a six-inch fir stump, 33 years old. So this was regenerated in the late 80s um, by Irving, uh, grown up, maybe spaced, because uh, since it was mostly fir, it certainly was not planted. Um, and then grown to, uh, what, uh, 35 years, I guess. Many of the stumps are rotten already, which is uh, not great. It's maybe why they harvested it. The, you can see remnants of this stand. So they didn't clear cut at all. If you look at the, the back edge there. Um, you can see it was kind of a mixed wood stand, mostly fir, probably a few spruces, some white birch. Again, the tail end of that budworm salvage era, in the, probably in the mid-80s, is when they harvested this the first time. Um, it looks like they, this has been freshly planted and site prepared with a machine called the disc trencher. Just as panning in on the, the rotten fir stump there. I think if we can get now, let's look down the rows of the, of the trencher. You see it looks like a, a rutted mess from the harvester, but that's not what it is. This is a machine that goes down through the block, and if you look here, I'm going to point to the... It actually should be called a disc mounder, not a trencher, because it makes mounds at whatever spacing you want. This appears to be eight feet, or thereabouts, apart, which then defines one dimension of the planting spacing, and then... The workers uh, then plant going down the, the mounds, and you can see here, these I'm pretty sure white spruce, so it's a little hard to tell when they're only one year old. Uh, white spruce, white spruce, white spruce. The spacing here, this is a 1.1 uh, one hiking pole, so I put that meter, and we put that down. This is no more than six feet apart, so it looks like we may have a rectangular spacing here, eight feet apart in the row, six uh, between the rows, I mean, and then within the row, it may be narrower, so we can do the math. That's going to be like 900 trees per acre, I think. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, this will probably be, uh, this will, there's no brush here now, but uh, there, this will probably be sprayed with herbicide uh, in maybe two years once the whatever germinates out here comes. Conceivable was sprayed with a site prep treatment, but I doubt that with the the Bracky treatment here. Um, this, I mean, the disc trencher. Bracky is a brand name of those. Um, so this is uh, production forestry. It's one leg of the triad. It's uh, if uh, it, if done well, the yields of these stands would be way, very high, higher than you're going to produce under any ecological regime. And of course, some strategic acreage of this makes possible allocating land to reserves and to ecological forestry. In other words, there's not one right way to manage. This, of course, looks a bit harsh to most people looking at the forest landscape. But we've just driven by some 15-year-old plantations that are wonderfully stocked and are pr probably producing two quarts per acre. So this will green up, um, hopefully. The one unknown here is what happens to these monocultures of white spruce. Old field stands of pure white spruce have not done well. Plant, there's all kinds of old potato fields in Aroostook County that were planted up. Grew well for about 30 years and then kind of just crapped out from whatever root rots and maybe ran out of nutrients. Um, that may or may not happen here. We This is uh, probably the oldest plantations in Maine like this or maybe 25 or 30. And they, the ones I've seen look okay. Uh, pretty good. At least it beats having pure fur, which is, of course, we did see some signs of the balsam woolly adelgid even up here, which is, you know, it's far, we're almost in Canada here. 
Um, and of course, there's always the budworm too. Irving wants to get rid of their fur for those two reasons and probably others too, the, the obvious stem rot that they don't, of course, want in their saw life. So this is industrial forestry um, in Northern Maine.